let's try to solve this uh, circuit by by the KVL right so so solve by using KVL no, no one tells you you're free to use whatever you want so normally this is the question solve and when I say solve I actually want you to find out current in all the branches right now let me let me arbitrarily we have we have said we arbitrarily take the values without bothering about their directions without bothering about anything okay but so so I take I take a current I1 going through this right I1 going through this so this this I1 will also kind of kind of be be present here right this I1 will also be present here so so this is I1 and and it is this I1 which enters here okay so this I1 now here it faces a dilemma right uh, a dilemma there is a division of current so so let us say again arbitrarily that that the current that goes in this direction is I2 okay a current I2 going in this direction that only leaves a current I1 minus I2 going in that direction right I1 minus I2 and, and when I do this kind of manipulation at this junction what actually happens is I have satisfied the KCL Kirchhoff's Kirchhoff's current law right now you 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 can either come here or you can come here you can do whatever you want but but let's say let's say I, I come here right I, I could have as well gone here right no issues so, so here I, I see that I2 I have already taken so I have to take another variable again there is there is a division of current so some current say I3 goes in this direction I3 in this direction so that whatever is remaining that is I1 minus I2 was there and you you subtract the current I3 from here right now now I3 comes here and I2 comes here so so here they sum up and and the current that goes in this direction in in, in, in this direction is 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 I2 plus I3 right so so through this I have a current I2 plus I3 and and here they tend to join right they they, they, they get added up so, so I1 minus I2 minus I3 plus I2 plus I3 so 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 I1 minus I2 plus uh, minus I3 plus I2 plus I3 gives you what this gives you this gives you I1 so so I have an I1 current going here now the same current I1 goes here and we find that that it is compatible with whatever we have taken in the beginning so so we have most probably not done any mistake while taking the KCL. Maybe if we have, we have not taken a mistake, that is kind of cancel feature, right? So, so it's it's kind of 90% sure. You you should be 90% sure that that you have done no mistakes. Had this been not I1 in the same direction, then it was a sure shot, sure shot indication that you have done some mistake somewhere, right? So now, now. To, it, it, it's a good practice to be actually actually naming the naming the junctions so that you understand what loop you are taking so I, I, I name this A and B and say C and, and D and you should name this also because you'll be going through this also so maybe maybe you, you, you name it E and you name it F okay fine now I see I have three variables so I should be taking three loops which are independent right and what is the definition for independent loop that whenever I take a loop there should be at least one element that should be new okay that, that is not already taken so so since I'm taking the first loop I do not bother much so I take the loop 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 a b I take a b d a a b d a okay a b g a 
then and it is again a good practice to be moving in the same direction in which you have written the the the, the junction name as so if it is abda you actually move from abda and that becomes handy that comes handy when when you are actually trying to check whether you have gone wrong somewhere right so so abda so what is the equation how do i write the equation so so i move from a to b i move in the same direction as the as the current so there is a minus ir drop i is is nothing but i1 minus i2 into n right ir then i come this way 5 minus 5 i3 minus 5 i3 i'm going in the same direction as the current here i'm going in a direction that is opposite to the current so so plus 5 i2 the current is current is i2 the resistance is 5 and that becomes equal to 0 so so that becomes here here i have minus i1 plus 10 i2 and plus 5 i2 that is 15 i2 and minus 5 i3 that is equal to 0. So this is minus 10 i2. This is plus 10 i2. Where, where, where? Oh, here, here it is minus 10 i2. I am extremely sorry. I am extremely sorry. Right? So here is minus 10 i1. Yeah. This is minus 10 i1. Correct. So, so, so this is equation number 1. Right? Now let us take the other loop. So, so we take the loop. Loop. Let, let me take this loop. B, C, D, B. Okay. So five and this five ohm and this five ten ohm. They are they are the new elements, right? Voltage. Right? Voltage. Where is the voltage? You have not put it in the equation. Minus ten. I didn't get you. Uh, I didn't get you. Put in the voltage in the this here? From a here? This, this voltage? I have not traversed that. Where have I gone through that? I, I have not gone through that. I went A, B, D, A. I never encountered the I never encountered the battery. Where did I encounter the battery? Don't don't do that. Okay? We never encountered the battery. So you do not take that into account. It is pretty mechanical, you know? It's pretty mechanical. You do not encounter something, you do not account for it. As simple, right? So, so now loop, loop, the time, th that time will come. Don't worry. B, C, D, B, the loop B, C, D, B, what happens? Minus 5 into I1 minus I2 minus I3. I move from B to C, the current is this. I am moving in the same direction, minus, minus 5 into I1 minus I2 minus I3, right? Then I move it from C to D, so that is plus 10, plus 10, I2 plus I3, plus 10, I2 plus I3, okay? Plus 10, I2 plus I3, okay? And, and, and what? Plus 10 I2 plus I3, I, I moved in the opposite direction and then I move back from D to B, D to B, D to B. So I'm moving in the opposite direction to the current. I take it to be to be plus 5 I3 and that is equal to 0. Right? Now, now that makes it minus 5 I1 here. So I write minus 5 5 I1. In fact, in fact, now, now looking back, I see here I could have taken a factor 5 out, right? So you should do that. You should do that. Fine. So, so if I take a factor, say, 5 out, I get minus 2i1 plus 3i2 minus 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 i3 is equal to zero that eases off some calculation and instead of branding the the, 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 the upper one as one I, I, I brand this as one 
right? This, this is the simplified version of that. So, so, so it's that. Okay. Now it is minus 5i1 plus 5i2 plus 10i2. So that makes it 15i2. It makes it 15i2. And, and this is 10i3 plus 5i3. That is 15i3. Th this becomes positive. 10i3 plus 5i3. 15i3 plus 5i3. This makes it 20i3. This again a possibility of, 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 a, of a 5 being pulled out. So I get minus I1 plus 3I2, right? Plus 3I2, 2, and, and, and what? Plus 4I3 is equal to 0. I name it equation number 2. Okay? Now, I have to take another loop that I, I, I've told you. We have taken this whole thing now if i take another loop as a b c d a that will be a wrong loop to be taken because the, every element that i traverse through while doing that has been taken into account there's nothing new to it so you can get that by a linear addition linear operation on one and two okay yes. that can be done so, so 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 that is not an independent equation and though you feel that there are three equations you will be kind of kind of uh, not be able to solve it right so the new this is still remaining right so if i take if i take say the loop and, and there are so many loops now that, that that can be taken which include this this is f so so you can go from e to a to d to c to f to e okay or you can go from e to a to b to c to f to e okay or or you could go in, in, in a zigzag fashion say e to a to b to d to c okay to f to e that that's kind of cumbersome so i i decide to take loop 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 e a d c loop e a b c f e correct so i start from e go to a nothing happens i encounter i encounter no resistors no no cells from a to d i encounter 5 ohm in the same direction so it is minus 5 i2 i move here same direction minus 10 i2 plus i3 plus 10 volts okay I am going from negative to positive so whenever I do that with a battery I, ta I take a positive so plus 10 and then I take take I1 going in the same direction right going in the same direction so so it is minus 10 I1 is equal to and I reach E back so so that is to be equated to 0 now what happens minus 10 I1 so so it is minus 10 I1 minus 15 I2 minus 10 I3 plus 10 is equal to 0 correct So, so, so if I take out again the, the 5 out, okay, so it becomes minus 2i1, okay, minus 2i1, minus 3i2, okay, minus 2i3, so it is equal to minus 2. Now, now y carry a negative on both the sides. So, so multiplied by minus 1 on both sides, you get 2i1, 2i1, plus 3i2, plus 2i3 is equal to 2. Correct. So, 
A B D A. You have taken the direction of I3 above here. Oh yes. That means the current that will be going here will be I2 minus I3. Right? So it will affect the answer. No, it will not affect. It will not affect anything. Whatever is your direction of current, if you have taken the current wrongly, say if if this was the direction of the current, and I suppose suppose I, I'm just saying that I get plus two amperes. If you take it in the opposite direction, you will get minus two amperes. So that will indicate that you have taken it wrongly, and you should reverse it in the final calculation, right? So it's absolutely you. Sh you should fear nothing, as long as you are just doing the IR drops and the cell drops correct. Cell drops or rises correctly. You have to fear nothing, 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 right? Now, now again, the the thing is, you should write these equations in one place, okay, and, and then start operations on them. So, so let me kind of again write it. So it is minus two i one plus three i two minus i three is equal to zero, right? And the second equation is second equation is minus i one plus plus three i two plus three i two plus four i three is equal to zero and the third equation is 2i1 plus 3i2 plus plus 2i3 is equal to 2 correct so 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 this is equation 1 this is equation 2 and and this is equation 3 right now what you do is is take any two and decide on eliminating one of the variables so i i decide to eliminate i3 so what do i do i multiply so, so i multiply equation one by four so four into one and simply add it to equation two it gives you what so so i multiply this by four so so minus 8i1 plus 12i2 minus 4i3 is equal to 0, right? And, and I simply add it to this. So this is minus 1, minus 1 plus 3i2 plus 4i3. <coughs> that is equal to 0. And, and if you add it, if you add it, this gets cancelled, right? So it goes away, you are left with minus 9i1 plus 15i2 is equal to 0. This I brand equation number 4. Okay? Now I take, take the other 2. Okay? So, so 2 and 3 and again try to eliminate i3. Correct? How do we do that? What do we do? I, I, I do 2 minus 2 minus minus 2 second equation i subtract i multiply this by 2 and subtract it right so you may make the coefficients equal and, and decide on whether you have to add it or subtract it if, if the coefficients are, are not the same then you have to subtract if they are opposite sign you just add so so here they are, they are the same that's why i'm subtracting here so 2 into equation 3 gives what does it give you 2 minus 2 into 3 2 equation number 2 so, so, so you just write the equation number 2 that is minus i1 plus 3i2 plus plus 4i3 is equal to 0 and and kind of you, we have decided to multiply this by 2 so it becomes 4i1 correct plus plus 6i2 okay plus 4i3 is 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 equal to 4 right is equal to 2 2 2 4 right and and we decided to to subtract this right so so what happens this is positive positive so this becomes negative, this positive becomes negative, 
and this positive becomes negative and, and, and this positive becomes negative and I should be operating on the lower ones right so 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 this becomes this becomes this becomes minus 5i1 and minus 3i2 this this gets cancelled because after all that's what we wanted and that is equal to minus 4 correct that is equal to minus 4 now if you see you have two equations 4 and 5 you have two equations and you have you have two variables okay these two equations and two variables we have been eliminating since since class 9th or 10th right so 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 let's try to see if i if i multiply this by 5 the fifth equation and add it to this then this becomes minus 15 and it cancels so so i i again set up this operation so so equation 4 plus plus 5 times equation 5 gives right so 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 it gives you minus 9i1 plus 15i2 is equal to 0 and and this is to be multiplied by 5 so that gives me minus 25i1 okay minus 15 minus 15i2 is equal to minus 20 right and this is to be added right so so there is no sign change involved so so this cancels this and again minus 34 i1 okay is equal to minus 20 correct so i get i1 i1 as 20 the negatives cancel upon 34 which makes it so 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 i do not write i, I do not give um, two equalities one after another right so so it is i1 i can cancel right so so this is 15 upon 17 so this is i'm sorry i'm sorry it is 10 upon 17 so so it is is 10 upon 17 right now now you have to substitute that so this is the this is say equation number six this is the solution right now if I, I try to set it here so so what happens from from four and six from four and six we get we get from four and six we get we get 15 i2 is equal to 9 i1 so, so 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 that is equal to, to 10 into so, so, so 9 into 10 upon 17 and that is 15 i2 and so i2 is is 9 into 10 upon 15 into 17 so so that gives me 3 here and a 2 here which gives me a 3 here and that gives you 6 upon 17 so, so somehow somehow the, the current that we took i2 that is also in the correct direction otherwise we would have got a, got a negative value so this is 6 upon 17 right and i3 so, so I go back and, and kind of put this the value of I name this 7 so 1 is i1 is 10 upon 17 and, and I, uh, I2 is 6 upon 70. You pick up any of these equations, say equation this, right? Say, say, say equation this, which is, which, which is nothing but. So, so let, me, let me write this here, shift it a bit. Okay, so let me shift it a bit and write those values of I1 and I2. Okay, so I1, what is I1? I1 is, I1 as we have seen is, is 10 upon 17 and i2 is 6 upon 17 so i1 is 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 is, is 10 upon 17 10 upon 17 and and i2 is 6 upon 17 right so what is i3 
if, if I if I use use equation one from equation equations, I, I, I had named them six and seven. They were, they were so so you should write to be to be methodical from equations six, seven, and 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 one, right? And one. What do we get? I three is equal to I, I take I three to this place. Then I, then I kind of uh, I'm left with is equal to minus two I I one not I two I I one minus two I one. Okay plus 3i2 okay so so what is that equal to that is minus 2 into into 10 upon 17 plus plus 3 into into 6 upon 17 okay and that gives me this is equal to this is 18 upon 17 minus 20 upon 17 so that is minus 2 minus 2 upon 17 so so i3 that i took okay somehow the i3 that i took going down that that that, that direction is wrong right so it should be coming up and it should be equal to 2 upon 17 okay now there is a word of caution so i get i get i3 as as i3 as minus 2 upon 17 so 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 let me let me write everything here i3 is equal to minus 2 upon 17. Now a word of caution. What happens? We feel that that everything is done, right? We, we have calculated I, I do I3 and our job is job, job is finished. Our job ends. No, it is not. Because you have to tell me the currents in all the branches. Until unless you do this, this question is not solved. Okay? So what we do, we kind of carry this with us, carry this with us, right? Carry this with us near the circuit. Okay, if you're writing it on a page or some somewhere in an examination scenario, you should you should you should write it back. Okay, you should kind of move it there. So so I copy it and kind of, kind of shift it, shift it near my circuit. Always do that. Otherwise, there are chances that that we 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 copy wrong values and and then in the end it becomes the whole thing becomes wrong. So, so have it handy somewhere. I, I kind of paste it here. There's no space, no space, no space. I put it here. That's fine. No. Here. Here. Fine. That's good. Right? It only only kind of covers that cube that I will do. Does not matter. So so let me there. Right, so I1 is fine. So so now I, I kind of say, and what you should be saying is, is that the current in branch Fe, okay, so you should say I F E is equal to 10 upon 17. So there we are correct, right? So this current is actually 10 upon 17, okay? I F E is fine. Now, now this is I A B, right? What is I A B? I A B is I1 minus I2. I1 minus I2. Correct? So that is 4 by 17. No? 10 upon 17 minus 6 by 17. Denominators are the same. Just the operation on the numerator. So that is 4 by 17. Correct? That is I A B. Now, now this is pretty simple. I A D is is simply, simply, simply. I A D is simply I two, which is six upon seventeen positive values. So, so that is correct. I B D. I B D is I three, which is which is minus two. So here I should write I D B. I D B as 2 upon 17 you should understand this always do that okay okay i i i will like you to maybe redraw this and mark the currents on the circuit as well if you have time if it, it's an examination scenario you do not have a time fine but but if if it is there then, then writing this will do but if if you have time i would like you to write this so, so here I know it is 
I'm writing it on the same. Uh, you may you may write it on the same, maybe indicating that the black pen or okay. Normally, normally you do it with pencil and and write it with a pen or something, right? So uh, so black pen maybe indicates the actual direction, actual actual current. So I1 minus I2 AB, you have you have four upon 17. Here going in the opposite direction, you have two upon 17. Here it is is I1 my I1 minus I2 minus I3 minus I3 makes it plus two. So 12 upon 17 minus six upon 17. So, so I, B, C, the, the direction of the current remains the same. So I1, 10 upon 17, minus 6 by 17, that makes it 6, 6 by 17, uh, 4 by 17, minus I3 makes it plus 2 by 17. So, so that becomes 6 upon 17. So, so, so this is, this is 6 upon 17, right? This is 6 upon 17. And, and, and here I2, I'm, I'm pretty good, so I, I wrote it to be 6 by 17. I1, I have already indicated. So this is the last branch that I, that I am left with. I2 plus I3, so that is 4 by 17. So, so this is, this is kind of, kind of, this is kind of 4 by 17, right? This is 4 by 17. So I D C okay. So I I D C is equal to 4 upon 17. All the branches cover? Yes. All marked? Yes. So you have solved the circuit. Get the point? Okay. Normally I have been slightly slow just to show you how you should proceed. Don't hop the steps. Okay. Don't make any mistakes in kind of, kind of, kind of. Uh, write the, uh, draw the, draw the circuit beautifully. Okay. Perfectly. I suggest you you draw these with with scales. Okay. The neater the circuit is, the better you are writing. More spaced out, there are lesser chances of you making mistakes. Fine. Good.